If he is a Muslim, your task is easy. Call him a terrorist, nothing more. We will ask no questions when you lift his turban as flag while stumbling around an uncomfortable name. Keep silent when you put his Quran to the flame. This is what we do with faith here. Make a death sentence out of scripture. Say jihad enough and people forget words like inquisition or crusade. Just look at the brown of him. A sun-scorched desert poise perfect for retaliation. The way his beard makes a secret of his mouth, further proof he cannot be trusted. Post his picture on CNN. We will see the twin towers fall again in his pupils. Watch tears floating like rubble to make a ground zero of his chin. If he is a Muslim, the work is done for you. A bit more involved if he is not. The next best culprit, of course, is a black man with hardened eyes and absent grin. We will ask no questions when you lift a photograph of his friends, each with their own uncomfortable names to use as a backdrop of evidence for any further accusations. I mean, this is what we do with perception here. Take a color and make it criminal. Say hoodlum enough and people forget a group of boys can be any other thing. Just look at the brown of him, a mahogany wind that whispers violence streak, the smooth of his stature further proof that he is beyond your reach. Post a video on YouTube, we'll hear LA riot in his speech, a firestorm of window crash beneath that hue of ebony. If he is a black man, we have already posed him angry enough for this. Harder still, if he is Latino, an unknown country in the role of his tongue, we will ask no questions when you lift his citizenship without even bothering to mention his name to use as a reminder that he shouldn't be here in the first place. I mean, this is what we do with the land here. Draw lines in the sand and call that ownership. Say illegal enough and people forget the crime of manifest destiny. Look at the brown of him. A riverbed current beneath the midday sun, a family fortune constructed on the landscape of drug money. Post the soundbite on Fox News. We'll hear him take away our jobs. If he is Latino, he is probably foreign enough for this. But if he is a mild-mannered student at the top of his class, suit and tie with the promise of better things, the American dream glowing beneath the pallor of his skin, if he is a white boy, well, we will hush truth in the quiet of our fear. He must have been bullied, must be a stress response, something broken in the parenting, because people like him don't do things like this. They don't blow up buildings in Oklahoma, or open fire in public schools, or invite their friends to dinner to watch another man hang and burn. They do not show up at a midnight showing to prove how dark a night can get. This boy is American. You said the other is what we should fear. You said every killer the color of innocence is by nature innocent still, while the brown boy decomposing must have brought it on himself. Antonio Montez fit the description. You hear Shahada history with police. Von Derrick Myers called no angel with no trial and no justice if he is a person of color just call him gone and nothing more.